History proves that all dictatorships, all authoritarian forms of government are transient. Only democratic systems are not transient. Whatever the shortcomings, mankind has not devised anything superior. Russia needs a strong state power and must have it, but I am not calling for totalitarianism. Anyone who doesn't regret the passing of the Soviet Union has no heart, anyone who wants it restored has no brains. Russia will not soon become, if it ever becomes, a second copy of the United States or England where liberal value have deep historic roots. Russia is a part of European culture, therefore, it is with difficulty that I imagine NATO as an enemy. No references to the need to fight terror can be an argument for restricting human rights. Nobody and nothing will stop Russia on the road to strengthening democracy and ensuring human rights and freedoms. Our aims are absolutely clear, they are a high living standard in the country and a secure, free and comfortable life. Our aims are absolutely clear, they are a high living standard in the country and a secure, free and comfortable life. The path towards a free society has not been simple, there are tragic and glorious pages in our history. The strengthening of our statehood is, at times, deliberately interpreted as authoritarianism. To pay more is the easy way. In fact, the solution possibilities to the problem are many. You must obey the law, always, not only when they grab you by your special place. I think the American people should express their preferences, and will accept their choice. Terrorism has once again shown it is prepared deliberately to stop at nothing in creating human victims. An end must be put to this. As never before, it is vital to unite forces of the entire world community against terror. We don't need a weakened government but a strong government that would take responsibility for the rights of the individual and care for the society as a whole. Russia does not have in its possession any trustworthy data that supports the existence of nuclear weapons or any weapons of mass destruction in Iraq and we have not received any such information from our partners as yet. I see that not everyone in the West has understood that the Soviet Union has disappeared from the political map of the world and that a new country has emerged with new humanist and ideological principles at the foundation of its existence. Russia does not want confrontation of any kind, and we will not take part in any kind of holy alliance. Whoever does not miss the Soviet Union has no heart, whoever wants it back has no brain. Political activities in Russia should be as transparent as possible. Financing political activities from abroad is something the state should keep an eye on. Indeed, Russia and the U.S. were allies during the two tragic conflicts of the Second and the First World Wars, which allows us to think there's something objectively bringing us together in difficult times. And I think I believe it has to do with geopolitical interests and also has a moral comp.